In this video, we're going to talk about the quotient rule for logarithms. So this is going to be almost identical, really, to the product rule in the previous video, but it's good to see this sort of thing over and over. So the quotient rule says the base b log of m divided by n equals the base b log of m minus the base b log of n. Okay, so let's go ahead and see why this is true. Now, just like the product rule, this actually has an analogous exponential property that says a to the x minus y equals a to the x divided by a to the y. And we're actually going to use this fact to establish this fact over here. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Now we're actually going to proceed just like we did before. So let's go ahead and come off to the side separately and say, well, let's look at log bm and log bn. Now let's take log bm and let's go ahead and just call that x. And log bn, let's go ahead and just call that y. Now the reason we want to do that is so that we can convert these into exponential expression or exponential equations and not logarithmic ones. So if we say the base b log of m equals x, then that's the same thing as saying base b to the exponent x equals m. Uh, we covered this conversion in a separate video. And base b log of n equals y, that's the same thing as saying base b to the exponent y equals n. Okay, so how does that help us? Well, what we're going to do now is come back over here and look at base b log of m divided by n. And we're going to use this m equals b to the x and n equals b to the y to simplify this. Okay, so base b log of m divided by n is going to be the base b log of, what's m? m is b to the x, and we're dividing by n, but what's n? n is b to the y. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to use that property of exponents that says, so remember, b to the x divided by b to the y, that's the same thing as, oops, b to the x minus y. And we still have the log b out here, so inside of this base b log, we have b to the x divided by b to the y, which simplifies from that property of exponents to b to the x minus y. Now, what do we, well, where do we go from here? Well, remember, just like in the previous video, we're going to use that exact same property that we used uh, at this step. And that property says, the base b log of b to the r, if we evaluate that, we just get the r back. Okay, so if you take the base b log of b to a thing, whatever that thing is, you just get that thing back. So in this case, the thing is x minus y. And again, we explained this property in a separate video also. So the base b log of b to a thing is just that thing. In this case, the thing is x minus y. But what is x minus y? Well, what's x? x is base b log of m. y is the base b log of n. So this whole expression here then is the base b log of m minus the base b log, oops, the base b log of n, which is exactly what we wanted. So we just established that the base b log of m divided by n equals the base b log of m minus the base b log of n using this property of exponents here, b, b to the x divided by b to the y equals b to the x minus y.